So good afternoon. Thank you for taking some time with us today. Tell me a little bit about yourself and just about your day one experience. What's your first and last name again? So my name, Donald, is Robin K. Butler. Okay. And my experience today has been phenomenal. It has just, it's been great. I've learned so much and been able to glean so much from the Leadership Experience Tour. I'll say, it's, it's, they were very intentional how they structured the day. Um, for me, I started, my first thing was the photos. And let's just say I was blown away from that Everybody's experience. been talking about the photos. Emma. Everybody's been bragging on Emma. Oh my goodness. So yeah, Sean, Sean picked the right person. So she's phenomenal. I'm really excited. I will be very honest. I typically don't like my photos and they're not even touched up. So out the gate, I was very, very pleased. And so Sean was very intentional about choosing the right person Did for that. Did you pick out a couple already? I did. I may have gone a little crazy, oh, but nice. yeah, but I, I really enjoyed the photos. My interview was great. Had the opportunity to do that interview with Dr. Marcia. Awesome. So, so yes. The boss, the queen herself. Yes, the queen herself. Oh my good yes. Lucky, I am jealous. You're jealous? You got the interview with Dr. <laughs> Marcia. MD herself? Yes, That's awesome. I did. So I That's did awesome. that and was able to share a little bit of my story there and then took the stage for my practice. So I know you killed it. You know, I, we're going to see. We, <laughs> we got it. You got it. You got it. You yeah, got it. so we're working on it and, um, you know, just, you know how we just want to get out of our head mm -hmm. and just make sure that we create that experience. I just want to be authentic and make sure that that message comes across and that I'm engaging to, to my audience. Now, yes. this isn't your first rodeo, Rhonda, but what brought you here? Wow. Well, my dear friend... Angela Hooper Minifield said, Robin, Robin, you really need to do this. You really need to do this because it's a different event to yes. brand you yes. as a speaker, yes. which is different from other events that I've attended. I've attended many events, but to be branded as a speaker and to be among like-minded like individuals. And so that's why I said, okay, I'm gonna try this. It's a little different. And I was holding my breath to say, okay, how's this really gonna work uh -huh. out? But I'm excited, Donald, that I took this opportunity to do this. Me too. I really am. This is my first branded event as well. And I've just been so impressed. Yes. Just so impressed. Yes. And I know a little bit about you. Uh, you are a John Maxwell certified coach, speaker, and trainer as well. I am. Tell us a little about that. So I joined the, the Maxwell leadership team, let's see, in about 2016. And I, I, my background is HR. I have about 30 years of experience in HR. And um, unique journey even there. My, the company that I used to work for, my vice president knows Mark Cole. Wow. And they were one of the companies that did some work with corporate leadership solutions at the time. And so they were doing like the five levels of leadership, et cetera. So when the team was introduced, she became aware of it. And um, I just said one day, I said, you know, I would really like to join the team. She didn't forget that. And so probably about six months, or so later she said hey Robin we've got some extra leadership dollars leadership development dollars left over do you want to use that money and I said of course Wow. and I said opportunity yes. yes I said can good. I use it towards you know joining the John Maxwell team and she said of course and so she supported my journey and the rest was history That's and awesome. so it's just been a great journey for me at first, Donald, I thought that it was going to be more so about personal development, and it was. Mm -hmm. It really was. But then I was able to um, take what I learned, mm -hmm. um, internalize that. But then, you know, as we grow, we're able to grow others and impact others. Yes. And so from there, I was able to use those resources within the organization while also beginning to grow my business That's awesome. as well. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So what's one takeaway that you'll say just from this whole leadership experience tour that once you go back home and get back settled and and actually just reevaluate it, what's one thing you're gonna say you take away? And I know we haven't had the day two and I know you haven't gave your phenomenal speech yet, but what's one takeaway that you're looking to take back home? Wow. Hmm. One takeaway. Whew. 
Ooh, that's tough to sum it up into one takeaway. Well, you can give me two. Okay, the first one I am honestly going to say, have fun. That's good. That's good. Because I think so often when we come to things like this, we're like, ah, oh, but today I was intentionally about, intentional about having fun and being present. That's good. Um, the second thing that I'm going to take away is doing things like this, connecting. Um, my message a lot of times um, to others is about connecting and collaborating. That's I even good. trademark something That's good. that is around connecting and collaborating, teaching people how to do it in an easy way. So it is important because I really believe, Donald, that connection mm. is the new currency. And if you do it the right way, the right way, it's priceless. Can I touch on that for just a second? Sure. And I've been in this vein here lately, even from a ministry background and even from a worldly background. Everything can't be so transactional. Yes. I can't always call on you, Robin, mm -hmm. when I want something, mm -hmm. but I should be able to call on you, right? Yes. But I think we got to learn how to fine tune it. Yes. So if it's done the right way, mm -hmm. if I call you, mm -hmm. it should be, well, what does he want now? Mm -hmm. It should be, how can I help him? Yes. How can I partner with him? Mm -hmm. How can I be of a assistance to him? Yes. And I believe collaboration is the new currency, mm -hmm. but we gotta not be so transactional. Yes, that is, that's so true. So I'll tell you, um, about a year or so ago, I was invited on a platform and I was just talking about collaboration and just out of nowhere, I made a statement and uh, it's just been one of those things that I've coined and people have started to, to still repeat it to, to date. And what it was, Donald, was that competition is dead. Jesus. And collaboration is alive. That's good. If the pandemic didn't teach us anything, it should have taught us that we need each other. My father used to always say, my father's a pastor, no man is an island. No man can stand alone. Mm. We need each other. Yes. We've heard the songs, you're my brother, you're my sister. We've heard even Hezekiah Walker sing, I need yes. you yeah. to survive. Yes. So we need We've heard each lean other. on me. We've heard <laughs> lean on yes, come me. On, man. You, you know, so yes. I just really believe, yes. like you said, it shouldn't be the Wiffen principle. Mm. When we connect with people, it shouldn't be the Wiffen principle. What's in it for me? That's good. Mm -hmm. That's it good. should really be authentic, authentic about how I can help you. And so when I hear from Donald or when Donald hears from me, let me see what I can do. It's not a with them thing. It's, it really should be the FNAFI principle. Find a need and fill it. Let's fill it. That's good. So what's what's the need that's that good. Donald has? What's the need that Robin has and we fill it? Because to me, that's how we connect. And then that's how we build stronger collaboration that's and good. connection with each other. And so I totally agree with your statement on, yeah, it, it shouldn't be transactional because transactional feels like, you know, it, it feels selfish mm -hmm. and we shouldn't be selfish. Even looking at this platform, I admire Sean that he's not doing this by himself. Mm -hmm. It's no way, even though he's gifted, even though yes. he's talented, yes. he has a strong team behind him mm -hmm. and they put on a, even what I just saw at the Maxwell conference, it was, it blew my mind back in August, mm -hmm. but to see them put something like that on, yes. it takes real partnerships. Yes. It yes. takes real partnerships. Yes. That's good. Yes. That's good. Yes. That's good. So lastly, and I thank you for your time, Robin. What's the message about Saturday? Give us a sneak peek. <laughs> you don't have to give us the message, but what's the, what's the um, overall picture of the message? Well, thank you for the opportunity, Donald. My message about Saturday, I'm gonna tell you about my journey and I'm gonna talk about the importance of leading with grit and grace. Grit and grace. Grit and grace. Where did I send the offering at on that one? I'm looking, <laughs> I, I, Cash App, <laughs> PayPal, Venmo, or, or can I do the old fashioned, put it in the envelope because grit and grace. Leading with grit and grace. I'm gonna tell my story. That's good. And, and what I learned from leading with grit and grace. Robin, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Donald. And thank you, you for the opportunity. You too, thank you. Uh,